Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Thrilling War with me and Germany. Where, as you guys know, we had some immediate setbacks with the fact that Italy decided to declare war at me at that exact point in time and took my land. I'm pretty pissed about that. And then also we had Bavaria joining, which was pretty bullshit if you ask me. Okay, I'm pretty bullshit mad about that. Okay, and so when I'm done with this war, I'm not just going to dismantle this stupid Germanic Federation. I'm going to make sure they are never born again. Alright, I'm tired of this stupid, of the stupid little empires thinking that they can pick me up. And think that they can just keep destroying whatever hope I have for like empire building. You know what, I'm going to go destroy you guys so hardcore, you guys don't even know it yet. If you guys haven't tell... Wait. What? Wait, I had a much bigger... Why are just three soldiers going to go engage that? Well, I don't really know, because this game doesn't really explain things. Let's go see. Are those guys dead? Those guys are dead. Go send these soldiers over here because obviously this is where another big battle is going to happen. Yeah, retreat. I guarantee you I will destroy you. I'm not in a very good mood. So let's see, there's only one big 23 stack. There's a couple minor 23 stacks over here and over there. Here, no there. Okay, keep like one army here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. You guys are now crushing over there. Go right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm slowly starting to gain the situation back. And actually, that's going to be a major advantage for me if I make sure. Are we going to get there before them? This is basically September 5th, September 10th. All right. Send these guys in to, to give me kind of a... Yeah, there we go. Now, if you guys want to attack now, please do. Yes. Okay. What this is basically going to do is it's basically going to give me... Yeah, especially with this guy... They're not going to be able to win because I have such a big advantage in that department that they're not going to be able to crush me too quickly. Um, right now, what we are doing, as I said before, is we're just trying to destroy big stacks of German army. And it's working. We're slowly starting to wither down their forces. To a T, I may add. To a T. Alright. Oh, shyster. I can't... Okay. This might have been a bad decision to pull my men to a different section. Okay, go send these guys over here quickly. You guys go over there. Because we're not, unlike most German, for, see, I, oh, there we go. Yes, yes! Now, yes, uh, you see, this is why I didn't want them to, okay. They're moving there to hegemony. Yeah, you guys aren't going to get to retreat. I'm not letting you guys retreat. See, this is the beauty of my plan, is I'm not letting them retreat. They're, the more they attack and the more they try to invade in my land, the more I just hit them and hit them hard. Like, I'm not giving up. All right, Romania, I'm gonna need control over your land again because I know uh, they're, they're not gonna give me control of the land, are they? Okay. Um, if you would so kindly please enter the war, Greece, that'd be really nice. Like your army right there could probably mean the difference between us and death at this point because we really do need it. But anyways, uh, you too, Spain. I'm not counting you guys out either because you guys should be in this war too. Um, yeah. Let's continue, though. Um, it looks like this might be a little bit of a risky, risky battle right there. Um, just because of the fact that we have a lot of soldiers grouped up. I'm scared of that 31 stack joining in. The 31 stack's not joining in good. Okay, then we're going to be easily able to destroy whatever forces are here. The Romanian stack's not joining in, which is kind of annoying. Um, 55 versus 49 shouldn't be much of an issue because we should be able to beat them even with slight numbers disadvantage at least that's what I hope if not that will go send in some more troops um man they just keep grouping up more and more the one thing I am having trouble with is that the fact they keep grouping up more and more soldiers which is actually making this slightly more difficult but at the same time um it's also making it slightly more easy I mean look how many men they have comparatively alright um like, seriously, look how many men they have. I've been crushing on their front so hard, they've been just destroyed. Which is pretty good for me. Because, like, they're not, they're not going to get away with this. But at the same time, I'm going to need more men. So what we're going to have to do is quickly go pick up these men down here and go use them. Which is good, because actually I do have some reserve men in the force, but 
That's I'm probably that's probably not gonna be enough. Ah, that's probably not gonna be enough. Yeah, just just retreat, just retreat now. All right, you guys over here. Ah man, yeah, just retreat. We we can't win that battle. There's no point. There's no point in fighting battles where there's not gonna be much winner. Um, I basically spread myself out too thin. Oh, you sons of a. Mm. Okay, okay. Retreat, retreat, retreat. I spread myself too thin. I got myself mixed up in a lot of different battles, which is now screwing me over. Oh, man. Okay. Ah, shit. All right. Go right here. Go attack. Go just destroy the little two stack. You can do that. You can still do that with your men, which is a good thing. We can still do that with our men. Um, we just lost a major battle, though, which means our... We just, we, we're basically still tying them, basically, in armor, in arms race. Even though we should be winning by now, we're still tying them. Now the forces are basically overwhelmingly powerful in this region. And you guys, I'm going to have to combine you guys to make a good unit. Wish it was like a combine button, but they don't have that in this version. Forty-five soldiers should be able to take on whatever's over here most of the time. The only thing I'm really worried about is that twenty-two and forty-four stack. Yeah, you guys aren't escaping me. I'm just telling you that now. Okay, rebels are actually pretty good. That was not good. That was not good. Actually, that is yes. We're actually gonna crush them right there. Okay, we're gonna crush them right there. That's good. Let's see where are my troops right now. They're right there off the coast. The, the 32 stack should be able to make a good difference in this battle. Yes, and Romania is actually getting involved in the attacking a little bit. Okay. Um. If I can crush this last little stack right there. Yes. Okay. Go. Go. Oh my goodness. This might be this might be the break we need. Because if, if my calculations are correct, we could just keep breaking all these lines. And then have no more Germans to deal with. We just have one or two more armies. But at the same time... Look at that. This war is going so badly for the Germans right now. I mean, even though they technically are winning due to their sieges, they're also not winning. Okay. I almost feel like I want to assert my own homogeny on them, but I have a better plan. I'm going to free a nation from them, and I think this is going to be really good for you guys, because I think you guys are going to enjoy this the most. This is probably what I want from the war. Is I want this nation freed from these guys oh actually hmm. nah that that seems a little bit too stereotypical maybe what I should actually do is actually assert my own homogeny yeah let's add a war goal assert my own homogeny yeah 34% you know what actually that would give me a good advantage over here it would give me Bavaria, Wattenberg and Baden all big provinces I kinda need so let's go let's go add our own homogeny Let's go hope that these guys get crushed. 30. Come on, keep dying, keep dying, keep dying, keep dying, keep dying. Yes, they keep dying. Okay, so that battle is pretty much won. You guys done? Yes. <laughs> you guys lost? Oh, oh, wait, wait. What's that, Germany? You guys lost? Oh, uh. Whoops. <laughs> yes! Yeah! What up, Germany? What up? We just like completely destroyed your ass in a war that we shouldn't have won at all. Look at that. Look at all your precious soldiers crying back to their little empire. What? <laughs> oh, and by the way, guys, I know I'm not being very humble right now in terms of... In terms of, like, you know, things, but I don't care. That was an exciting moment for me. Alright, and you know what? Finally being able to finally strike back against all of this BS that's happened for me for a long time, and finally being able to take back something from the Germans is really comforting now. The next part, though, is to take back a lot of something from these sons of witches of the Italians, who are just being total and other, like, great meanies above all else. 
Um, at some point, I also should free myself from the Republican Guard, but they, the more they actually are alive, the more they actually don't revolt against me. And glad I didn't have to use these guys. Um, also, 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 um, at the same exact time, I'm also going to justify a war to free, free allied cords. Uh, no. I'm going to liberate a country. Okay, I'm basically, I'm not going to fight this war at all, but basically what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to release, uh, Bulgaria from the, from the, um, Ottoman Empire, and basically with that, what I'm going to do is have them divided, alright, so my economy collapsed, of course, as usually what happens after a wartime, you know, struggle, the war usually collapses all economies I have, so it usually takes me like a couple years to recover, but right now we have a pretty good empire going in terms of like people, like people are actually starting to get the luxurious needs met. Which usually never happens in most of my empire, and most of you guys can really detest this. I usually do not have most of my needs met by the end of the game of most of my empires. Alright, so let's see, I want to make like four armies down here, and I want to make sure they're all going to be able to crush these son of Italians. So, let's see, let's see, um, I can go back to war with them at what time? 1874, so I have four years, um, yeah, I'm, I'm basically going to have, I'm basically going to have Greece fight this war too. Because I don't, I, I don't really want to fight a war right now. I just want to kind of, just kind of begin assimilation. That's pretty nice. So just keep beginning assimilating. You guys stay right here. We're going to divide you guys up into two units. Yeah, this is totally non-threatening at all. I'm totally not preparing for an invasion of you guys. Okay? Like, totally. This is totally not what it looks like. Alright. Yeah. I'm pretty like I'm pretty mad about the Italians. The Italians the Italians basically think that they can push me around. And basically the Czechoslovakian theater they're basically thinking that they can keep pushing me around and doing all this stupid stuff to me. Where I've had it. I've I've officially had it. They've they've angered me to the point where now I'm just going to go after them. I'm gonna send all my soldiers in on them. Now let me see, what do I need for each army though? Probably cannons, cannons, cannons. Uh, cannons. Yep, cannons. Cannons usually like the one thing that usually every army needs. Let me also destroy any troops that were not needed. And let me get back to producing what we needed to actually produce, which is craftsmen in all the regions that were assigned this. Actually, that can stay the same. Uh, yeah, you guys, you guys actually encourage craftsmen. Um, yeah, there we go. To make sure no one actually make sure over here that no one else is is producing troops. All right, you guys were producing troops. You guys produce craftsmen. Actually, you guys were producing bureaucrats originally. Did we finish up with that bureaucratic thing? No, we did not. So finish up with that bureaucratic thing, and then we'll start dealing with other stuff. But yeah. Um, Baden. Yeah, you guys can be my ally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't believe we won that war against against. The Germans. You guys are added to my sphere. And now look at this, guys. Now we have a really good, awesome sphere of alliances going. So that should make us pretty powerful right there. You guys, though, I'm gonna go crush on you. Wait, do I not get cores on Italy? You got to be joking me. I don't actually get any cores onto Italy. For stealing my land, I get no cores. Assassination attempt. Oh no. It's so sad. Okay. We can now start decreasing our militaristic awareness to 47, I think. Uh, well, you guys just stay about where you are because you, you're rich and you're mighty and powerful. And there we go. 4.1 infamy, not too much as I thought it would be. Uh, and welcome back. Annexation. Oh. It seems like even though those weren't actually nationalists, they can still free themselves. Let's go deal with this. Yeah, because you guys have annoyed. This is also another nation that's annoyed me. I've, I'm basically... Whoever wants, to, whoever wants to get destroyed right now, basically just line up. I am in the perfect mood to destroy anyone. If my navy... Did my navy die at some point? No, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, go pick up, go pick up soldiers. We're gonna go destroy the Tunisian people again. 
Um, then we're also going to go declare war on the Ottomans. Where I'm just going to let Greece deal with this one. I'm going to let Greece kind of fight this one out. So I don't really need to do... I don't really need to fight Greece. Okay, supply limit wise, where's the good... This is actually the best place. Wow. Okay. You guys... Start building, what do we need? More cannons! Because that's the only thing we usually need in our armies. Is just more cannons. Because I feel like we build like really cheap cannons every single time. Alright, load up the soldiers. Go right here. Alright, let's see. How powerful are you right now, Greece? How powerful is the Ottoman Empire? They're facing a lot. I highly doubt they're going to be able to fight me. So, yeah. When I have the opportunity to... 71% there. And with that, by the way, what I'm also going to be doing is making sure that um, the Greeks for future reference actually have a land bridge to me so they don't just sit there, I should say. You guys get out your soldiers. Go invade them. We're just going to land directly on their heads because it doesn't even matter. They don't have a powerful enough army to stop me, even if they tried. Even if they tried to stop me, I have a bigger army than they do. So let's use it. Okay. Apparently though, I completely forgot to do one other thing though. Is also build siege people. The siege people are important. I'm just going to let them all group up right here and then I'm going to go send them out wherever I need them. Uh, yeah, we can keep we can keep this guy. Uh, yeah, there's too small to reinforce this brigade. That's fine. That's fine, it's not fully reinforced, but it's good enough. Um, let's see, do we have our Causes Belli yet? We're about to get our Causes Belli in about a couple turns. And then from there, Greek, you're just going to be you're just gonna be fighting the Ottomans the entire time. I'm not really going to be fighting them. Alright, there we go. Artillery is down. Oh my goodness, alright. And right now, are they allied with someone important? They're allied with Netherlands. Oh. Oh, oh, save me. Save me from the mighty Netherlands, people. I'm so inevitably scared. Yeah. Okay, that's so... That's good enough for you, but I don't really care. So, let's go see. I need Bulgaria. Bulgaria, 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 Bulgaria. There we go. Call in allies. Very likely, very likely, very likely. Alright, anyone else we need to call in? Um, I don't think right now... Uh, you guys would like to form an alliance yet? Uh, infamy, you guys mainly hate me because of my current wars. Okay. But you guys would want to form an alliance as soon as this is all over. Okay. That's pretty good. So, as soon as this is all over, we'll, we'll fight each other together. Let me do that, though. Oh! Wait a minute. So, let me just call in individually everyone. Call in ally. Yes, do that. Call in the Greeks, because the Greeks are really the people I need to call in. Uh... Ah, shoot. Alright. We're gonna have to quickly, like, win this war. And then from there, we're gonna have to go fight. Okay, seems like they're gonna be annoying, so... Let's go do this all natural, then. Go send my soldiers in. Let's go seize up their land. Okay. Greece, get me an alliance. As soon as you guys are ready, get me an alliance. I'm gonna go declare war again. Uh, I, wish, I wish there was a way you could, like, specify which war you wanted to go into, though. That's kind of angering, because I didn't want him to join this war. This war I had completely underneath my control. So, yeah, and then these guys, they're not going to be able to fight me, because right now they're dealing with the Ottomans, and they're dealing with me. That's basically two fronts they're not going to be able to support. Uh, especially since I'm just off of a wartime blitz, and I'm pretty, like, juiced up right now. My, my troops are basically juiced up, and we're ready to fight. Like really ready to fight, we're gonna win this pretty easily. Mm-hmm. We're also crushing on Bosnia right now. Just because we can. And I could probably take Bosnia in this war, but like I said, there's gonna be a special event later that's actually gonna give me Bosnia for free. Which anything for free is good for me. Uh okay. So Greece, you guys are gonna want your alliance back. Uh no. Uh, okay, how about increased relationships? Yeah, do you guys really think... Yeah, like, let, let's be real here. Do you really think that these uh, Netherlands people are going to be able to beat me? I mean, I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Netherlands, not a big issue. 
I'll be able to crush them in almost a cinch. And look at this, I'm already almost destroying the Ottomans. Um, group up all these guys. I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.